Today I'm going to show you how to import your tracks into Rekordbox. Again, this is uh, designed to be beginner level stuff. So I've got Rekordbox open here. Um, when you don't have any tracks, you want to bring your tracks in. The first thing I would recommend is put all of your music files into one folder in Windows or uh, on your Mac. Uh, just put it all in one folder, keep it in one single location. That's my recommendation. Uh, you go to File and then Import. You can import a, a track or a few tracks at a time or you can import an entire folder, which is probably what you're gonna to wanna to do the first time if you're bringing your entire collection in. <clears throat> Before we do that, I need to talk about analysis because um, when you bring a bunch of files in, if you have auto analysis turned on, it's going to automatically start an analyzing them. And if you're bringing in a lot of files, this is gonna take hours to do. So you need to know that that's coming. So you do this uh, when you have time. And there's also some options in the analysis tab that you need to know about um, that would be helpful before you analyze your collection for the first time. So first we're gonna go up to the star, which is preferences. And then we're going to go to the analysis tab, which we're already on. This is a new feature that came out in 7.1 record box 7.1 the high precision beat grid analysis i have used this quite a bit and i have found that it does greatly improve the accuracy of the analysis most of my beat grids were off before and after reanalyzing with these settings the vast majority of them as far as i can tell and i've spot checked you know probably a few hundred um, over the last few days uh, the beat grids are in the analysis is correct so um you want to turn on high precision analysis. This does add, again, more time to the analysis, but it is more accurate. Um, if you're going to use the high precision, I would leave this on auto. Uh, normal is going to be for your EDM tracks that have virtually the same BPM in each genre. I am all mobile DJ, all open format. I don't do a lot of EDM. So, um, you know, your pop music, your top 40 is the uh, BPMs are going to be all over the place. So in that case, you want to use dynamic. Um, but if you just put it on auto and you're using high precision, it'll choose which one you want. BPM range, again, if you know what kind of music you're using, if you know BPMs, you can choose whatever range you want. Again, since my tracks are all different, BPMs all open format and, you know, a lot of top 40. I choose the widest one. Um, when I did try choosing narrower ranges, it would get the BPM wrong. It would usually have it. So if it was, uh, you know, 110, it would list it as 55 BPM. But when I widened the range here and tried it with that setting, it, everything seems to be fine uh, and, and it seems to work better. Here you can choose what you want to analyze. Uh, obviously the grid, key phrase and vocal. Um, I choose all of them. It shows you the vocal and the phrasing um, up in the waveform. So auto analysis, this is the one where you choose whether you want it to begin analyzing the tracks as soon as you pull them into record box. I have this off for now. Um, and which you want to make sure that you have this off uh, if you're going to be, you know, uh, playing live and you're pulling tracks in. Uh, just know that if you pull in, you know, several hundred tracks, it's going to take a couple hours to analyze all those songs. So if I'm, you know, working in record box, working on playlists or something, I would go down here and turn it on power saving so you can still use the program while it's analyzing. Uh, I usually keep it on normal. And then if I'm uh, pulling in a bunch of new tracks and I want to analyze them as quickly as possible, I'll put it on performance. Of course, that is going to use all, virtually all of your processor power. So those are the analysis settings. The cloud analysis, what that does is uh, it will pull data down from the record box servers for uh, exact track matches so it doesn't have to analyze that data in real time it'll pull down um, the data that's already on the record box servers and it says in here that uh, the data is anonymous so um, i have that turned on i can't tell whether it speeds things up or not so there's the analysis setting so again uh, file import and then you can pull in a track or a folder i'm just going to pull in a single track right now uh, let's see here let's do this and then you can see, so it pulls it in. And then if I had the auto analysis turned on, you'd see right down here, it'll say analyzing track, right? So um, let's do this. And then we'll just go in and analyze that track. And I'll show you how to do that manually. Um, let's see here, do track title. So, okay, we'll go ahead and analyze this track. All right, so here's the track. So I'm gonna right click on it and analyze track and then also here it'll let you confirm your settings auto high precision click OK 
and then uh, you'll see down here it's analyzing um, this PC does okay when it's analyzing it, it just depends on your processor power and memory as to far as how as far as how much it'll lag the system when you're doing it so there you go that's how to import tracks into record box and how to turn on or off auto analysis and then how to do it manually and you can also select multiple tracks and hit analyze tracks and then uh, once that's done let me go in here and this one is done so you can see right here a little star it shows you it's analyzed I don't know why my preview is not showing up preview right there so uh, this is an easy way to tell if it's been analyzed or not so if there's no preview here so this song has not been this one has so you see it's got the analysis in there with the waveforms and it also has these automatic cue points which you can turn those on or off also in the analysis settings whether you want it to automatically set cues um, i have it set them I, I have it set to make the cues automatically and then when i go through the song um, if if a couple of these cues are where i want them i'll label them and then just delete the rest but you can turn that off in settings also so uh that's it that's how you do it hope that helps uh, if i miss anything if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one.